I'm back in the UK and have come up to Donington Park for two days of pre-season practice testing. But before we can get started on track, there's uh, some setup to do and also media duties. And this is to get some graphics and photographs for the television and uh, different media uh, material that's needed before the, the season starts. If you want to watch me and the rest of the BSB grid go head to head on track in VOP style in 20. Just having to think about it. Yeah. It's going to be flat. I was thinking maybe for space, flat's yeah. better. Yeah. Wherever you go. Another one I was thinking <laughs> when I worked for the Air Force, All right. on a clear line of eight mil, we'd always run four loops. Right. And then a clear line of like six mil or lower, we'd run three loops. Yeah. Just playing. <laughs> And then your OCD goes all A wire. And <laughs> There's a mark to open the bar, break through, and everything. Yeah. Clearly. And depending on where you put the hole, is which orientation the bottle is. Yeah. Yeah. This is where it does it now, this is everywhere. Have you learned something, Andy? Oh, every day. Every day is a school day. <laughs> So it's Saturday the 6th of April and this will be the first time I've ridden the FHO BMW Superbike since Macau in November. Since last season uh, there's been some uh, rule changes so the bike spec in respect of the engine has uh, changed for us so different camshaft and yeah some other details so nobody really knows how the bike's going to perform um, against the other teams and riders uh, with these changes. So everybody's anticipating uh, these first uh, sessions and these first couple of days to work out you know, where we need to improve and how much effect these changes to the bike are going to have on how it feels, um, how it handles, how the grip levels are. There's a lot of uh, question marks at the moment. So a fair bit's hinging uh, right now just on uh, how this performance goes.
I haven't been on my race bike since the test the team did just after the last round, the end of October. Uh, so to now is quite a few months of time. But as long as you're not injured and have remained active and you know riding and training and keeping ready to go, uh, for me I don't feel like there's a, a big process to get back up to speed. I can literally jump on the bike and my brain is ready to, to go. If anything, it's the it's your body physically that's a, got a bit of lag because you haven't ridden a motorcycle with that sort of aggression and it, it takes a day or so for that, that last um, muscle to re-engage and become ready to operate again. But aside from that, I, f I mean, at least you feel like you're up to speed. Maybe you're not really in, in terms of lap times, but um, you know, if the stopwatch wasn't on, you would feel like you're ready to go and you're at speed that you, you've always done. The gusts of wind are certainly off-putting and can blow you off track, but for testing the bike, it doesn't have a huge uh, influence. You can, you can gauge whether the bike is stopping better in a straight line, turning better, holding a line better, driving better, spinning less. All these things that you're trying to achieve, you can, you can tell if they've improved or, or gone even the other way, gone worse. Um, even with the wind. The only thing is the wind can can definitely affect your lap time. So if the, the setting or the adjustment is so fine or the, the effect of the, the change is so fine, um, the, the wind might have a bigger effect on your lap time than that, that change um, has actually made. So you need to ride in situations like this a lot on feel, not, not purely with the lap time because the lap time's inhibited by the, the weather and the wind. Everything started out really well, um, you know, for how much time we've had off, you know, it was as good as I would expect. The first thing was the engine change and that didn't show up any real problems or issues. The bike's still strong in, in speed and uh, the lap time was um, competitive. And then we spent, you know, the rest of the, the two days uh, making changes, trying to improve, trying to make a better package than what we had existing and um, didn't really find anything. So in the end, gone back to exactly more or less how it was last year. Uh, and, and what I mean by that is uh, the suspension, chassis sort of positions are all more or less how I would have rode last year. And the good news is that what I was on last year was sort of you know the best that we've had. 
but um, you know, we, the idea of testing is to try and uh, improve the setup and, and find something new. So as I stand here now, we haven't found anything new or better, but, um, but the bike's you know, as good as it was last year. We haven't lost anything through the uh, engine changes, as I said, so um, there are some positives, but um, yeah, I'm just looking for a bit more.